Alrighty. Let me uh, get a okay, so hear of the audio real quick. You take uh, you take that door and the one behind you. I'll take upstairs and. Uh, uh, I'm gonna down. take a nap on the floor actually. Okay, so the audio is fine in uh, good news. So I guess this oh is God. how we start. All right. Yeah. Hello, boys, girls, ladies, and head, gentlemen, dude. and everything in between. My name is Ranchi Ram, and we fucked up. I was busy no, trying to get no, the uh, stream set up so I could record this, because like streaming is the only way that I can include party audio or game audio into the game without buying a bunch of stupid shit that doesn't work half the time. But yeah, uh, we're going to be playing Kino Der Toten on <laughs> Black Ops 1 and hopefully not fucking it up. But yeah, uh... By now, you guys have probably seen the uh, gameplay video of me just playing multiplayer alone. I wanted to talk about something serious about the Infinite Warfare tra trailer and why I think it was doing so badly, but I couldn't get that point across because I was just having so much fun playing multiplayer again because I really liked Black Ops 1 and just, like, nostalgia hits me especially hard. Alright, so you can you can talk and do stuff now, Brett. All right, so what what am I doing? Uh, okay, so basically you get this window and then you get the back window, and then I get this window and the one upstairs, and you can't steal my zombies or else I'll call you a whore. <laughs> so I get the front one and the back one. That seems like an awkward combination. Shouldn't you just take the front ones and I take the back ones? It's no, five because then it's I have five to... then stab, right? Yeah, it's five stab and. Unlike Black Ops 3 Zombies, two hits kills you, while on Black Ops 3, three hits kills you. The stabbing is so unresponsive so. compared to Black Ops 3. This is going to take getting used to. What are you talking about? This, this stabbing is like much better. No, the stabbing in Black like, Ops yeah. 3 goes like through the door and through walls to get the zombie. I, th like, the stabbing on here is like Commando Pro stabbing, like, so you don't miss it. Like, I remember in Black Ops 2... The stabbing sucks really badly because that's the one that pretty much took out. Oh, I forgot bullets go right through the zombies. Panic knifing. Yeah. This is. We're definitely. Uh, this is super weird and kind of freaking me out. Because <laughs> uh, we're playing 360 on the Xbox One, and like I know it's been available for a long time, but like the Xbox 360 was my favorite console, like that and the PS2. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed my. It was a particularly a good generation, at least for me. It was my first console that I ever actually played online with, and the first game I played online was Halo t uh, 2. No, I didn't play that online. I oh. played that at a LAN. Yeah, LAN. You, uh, you kids watching this video might not even know what that means. That's where people got together in person and hooked their consoles up to one another into each other's TVs and played against each other like it was the internet. But with each other in but person. I, <laughs> I played. Um, it was faker. I think the first game, <laughs> the first thing game I played on Xbox 360 was I played Modern Warfare 2 on LAN with uh, my friends. Wow, that's that's pretty hardcore. It's it's uh, those of you who aren't familiar with LAN, like LAN has no lag at all because it doesn't have to be sent to the internet and then come back. So playing Call of Duty on LAN is completely different than playing it over the internet. I mean, but I won't say completely different, but it's more the, reliable. The response time is better and your reactions matter more. But I was bad at the game then, so it really didn't matter that much. Uh, we would just scream peak really badly. Mostly. Scream peak? Yeah. Oh, is that was, was that your guys' favorite map or something? Oh, she fucking know what screen peeking is. Everyone knows what screen oh, peeking is. Oh, screen peeking. I thought you said screaming peek. No, no, no screen screen peek. Okay, yeah, I know uh, what screen peeking is. I had a little sister. Yeah. yeah, so basically, I would be like, you know, chasing him around or something. And then he would just turn around for no oh, reason. Oh, that line! Like he actually knew I was there. That line takes me back. Get effed in the a, zombie bitch. Yeah, I, I love these original characters. I uh, wish I wasn't Takio. The one Takio is my least favorite of the old characters. What? You don't like Takio? 
No, I like Takio in Black Ops 3. I don't care. Um, I don't care for him in Black Ops 1. I never played him. No, in Black okay. Ops 1. Okay, at the end of this round, we're probably gonna leave. Uh, oh yeah, leave I used to go quote, the next part. Yeah, I used to quote these guys like all the time when I was in high school because I <laughs> love zombies a lot. And my friends love zombies, so we would just quote like lines all during class because it was a lot of. Fun. Oh, oh was, God, I'm dead. I was out of high school when I started well, playing uh, Black Ops, but I didn't play ba Black Ops at launch. You might want to run. Yeah, I didn't see. Yeah, you might just want to buy that Whoa. door and go. Uh, that door. Oh, this door, this door. Okay, I got it. I got it, I got it. There's a gun in here, right? Yeah, no, buy the next door, and then buy the AK-74 off the wall. Alright, uh, AK-74, where's the AK-74? It's past the Oh, gate. I see it, I see it. Yo, Xbox, I mute! My new gun. Yeah, that'll, that'll do you well. I'm gonna die, though. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you gonna lose your pistol? No, I'm not. No, I'm not mad. <laughs> All right. Uh, like if you guys didn't watch the other gameplay video, I'm recording this in uh, 1280 by 720. Uh, games back then didn't actually really display in 1920 by 1080. They said they did, but it, it was just upscale. That's where they take the picture and stretch it. So it's not actual. Uh, it wasn't actually 1080p. A lot of oh. games still aren't actually 1080p. Well, I guess we're here then. Um, let me buy a box. I don't want to be here. Oh, G11. G11. That's oh, that's not that bad. It's not that great. It doesn't have enough ammo. I'm How much ammo does it have in Zambos? 144. Plus a 48 magazine. It has three magazines worth. Which just isn't people. enough. Uh, this is as not the, a good room to the, be in. I don't ever remember coming to this side of the map. I, I wanted the I wanted the meteor. Uh, listen to the, the crunchy gun noises. Like It's so satisfying. Like These gun noises... Uh, I I wouldn't I don't know if I can call them realistic because I like never actually heard the guns before, but like, it's just every sound is crunchy and crispy when you shoot it. Black Ops was actually the first Call of Duty game that I uh, that I played actively. Like I got Modern Warfare 2, and Modern Warfare 2, as everybody knows, had tremendous balancing issues with perks and just about everything. And then I played Black Ops 1, and I was like, holy shit. This is awesome. I'm playing this all the time. And then I played it for I until I hit like third prestige, and then I went back to uh, play Modern Warfare 2. Like ever other since door. then. Oh, other door? You want me to buy the other door? Like, where are you? No, this door. Oh, you want this me to buy, buy it. it? You want me to buy it? Okay. Yeah. All right, and we buy the next one, right? Yeah. Okay. Then we can camp on the next one for a bit. Yeah, I know. We camp for a bit, uh, we get past a dog round or two, and then once things start to get difficult or we get in danger, we open up the next one and go to the stage. And then that's where we turn on the power, right? Yep. Alright. I'm almost out of ammo. mp is good, right? Yeah, mp is really good. Alright. I knew it was, a, it was a problem weapon in World at War. It was like the UMP in Modern Warfare 2. Where it had way the too much UMP range for an SMG. Then. Yeah, it was good, but it was like an overbalanced weapon. Like the FAMAS was overbalanced oh, gotcha. in this. Like, overbalancing can be just as bad as OP. I think everyone just used it, like... Yeah, I over I'm not sure if overused. it was super good or anything. The MP40 was really good. Uh, I played World at War and it was pretty much the only gun I used. And I know people would bitch at me every time I use the FAMAS in, uh, in Black Ops. So I stopped using that and I started using the Enfield and the AUG, which had the same exact stats, just slightly different because of the iron sights. So you just put a red dot on it and it's, it's pretty tolerable. Oh, the dogs are healthier, aren't they? No, they're not. It's just, um, 
Like, the dogs before were, like, completely inept. Like, you would never die to dogs before. Like, very rarely would you die to dogs. Like, maybe if you didn't have Juggernaut and you were playing by yourself. Or you just weren't paying attention. Man, the dogs, the dogs are like. Black Ops 3 will. They're so much freakier than this. They look all mangy and gross. Yeah, they're, they're pretty gross. I'm full. So go ahead and grab it. The tide keeps in our favor. I like. I played zombies quite a bit, but I never actually like got the handle of it. At least not on this uh, one. I was really good at zombies. I didn't really start that to grasp it until Black Ops 2. I was like, bees knees as I didn't play this like as young as you did probably. I, I was out of high school and I think the game was already out for stay. like a solid year before I actually played it. Stay, stay down here and cover those two windows. I'll stay up here and cover these two windows. I don't see any windows. Oh, the windows down here. Okay. Thought you were saying the ones at my back. Should I be going for headshots? Yes. Okay. I downed. Wow. Okay. You should be going mind. for not deads. But there's an insta kill over here. I'm gonna try and pick it up. Uh, I but, appreciate that. Uh, but you might that. want to back out and leave. Oh I'm shit! Gonna I'm gonna try. And... Nope. Oh, never mind. I'm not good at zombies. Yeah, I fucking I'm doing bad too. It's, <laughs> I'm so out of practice, man. I haven't played in so long. But like the other day when I played, we'll play. I'm gonna play one more time. But um. The other day when I played by myself, I was like, oh man, this is fucking Can we do so a different map, though? No, we gotta do this map, because I want to hear the fucking song. The song's oh so good gosh, on this map. Oh my gosh, you fucking nerd. The song's so good on this map, I love it. The song is good, but like, every, it, like you hear it every match, because like everybody's like, you know how to activate the song easter egg, right? Let's go activate the song easter egg. I fucking hate no, everyone... the easter eggs in Call of Duty. Like, every everybody loves... Loves the Easter eggs and zombies, but like the maps I become the are so Easter eggs. the maps are so focused now around Easter eggs rather than actually just playing and trying to get high rounds. In order to get even high rounds on like Black Ops Three zombies, you have to do the Easter eggs. Otherwise, you're at a huge disadvantage because you don't get access to shit like Pack a Punch or yeah, I know other but, stuff. I just hate that. that. I I know. I'm just talking I about. I hate that shit too. I hate it when like, Easter I, eggs I, become a game mechanic. It makes them significantly less special. Like, um, well, I mean, they're not really Easter eggs anymore. They're more like just game mechanics. Features. Yeah. I mean, they were Easter eggs at first, but I mean, they're not Easter eggs and anymore. And it's lazy how they become a mechanic, but the developers don't recognize it as a mechanic. They still recognize it as an Easter egg, so they don't actually bother explaining how any of the shit works, and now it's up to the community to do it all. So if you're not yeah, on top not... of that shit, like, you're not getting very far. I'm pretty sure, I'm almost 100% guaranteed, uh, I, I'm pretty fucking sure that Treyarch... They let people know, like the big YouTubers, they let them know or give them a hint as to what they're supposed to do so that they make a video about it so that they get people looking that shit up and playing the game. I'm almost, I'm fucking almost 100% guaranteed. There's this uh, one do. guy that I, that I watched for the Advanced Warfare Zombies, and what he did was he, uh, he uh, found the trigger to uh, start it. Remember how it was 